The purpose of this animation is to demonstrate how a parallel RL circuit can be converted into its series equivalent. Here we have a typical parallel RL circuit containing a resistor, an inductor, and an AC voltage source. An equivalent series version of this circuit can be made using the values of resistance and inductive reactants. The equivalent series circuit will behave identically to this parallel version with respect to points A and B. The relationships for calculating the equivalent series resistance and inductive reactance can be applied to create an equivalent series version of the circuit. The required series resistance value can be determined by using the parallel resistance and parallel reactance along with the relationship shown here. Using these same two values, we can also calculate the required reactance for our series equivalent circuit by using this second relationship. We will now move on to a practical example that will illustrate the application of these valuable relationships. In this example, we are asked to create the equivalent series RL circuit for the parallel RL circuit shown here. We begin the conversion by calculating the inductive reactance for the given source frequency and our original parallel circuit. As can be seen by the results of this calculation, the inductive reactance in the parallel version of the circuit is equal to 8.294 ohms. Next, we calculate the series resistance for the equivalent circuit using the previously provided equation. We plug in our known resistance and calculated reactance to arrive at a series resistance value equal to 1.419 ohms. This will be the value of the resistor used in our series equivalent. Moving on to step 3 in the solution, we calculate the series inductive reactance for the equivalent circuit. The results of this calculation provide us with an equivalent series inductive reactance value of 8.044 ohms. Next, we redraw the equivalent series circuit using our calculated values for RS and XS. To complete the conversion, we calculate the required inductor value from the series inductance obtained in step 3. From this calculation, we can see that the required inductor value is 21.33 millihenries. The completed series equivalent RL circuit is shown here. With respect to points A and B, both of these circuits produce the same effects. Because the equivalent series RL circuit provides the same impedance, current amplitude and phase will be the same for both circuits.